Today we'll be going to the vault here on Aya. The Moshe is going to take us over there. And then hopefully we'll be despicifying this planet, make it not so lava and hot and, you know, maybe sulfur stinky. Also, I'm probably just going to do like a half episode today, not like a full hour, but maybe 30 minutes, depending on how I feel. I got my booster shot yesterday and I've just been tired. <laughs> I'm a little bit like body achy as well, but... You know, at least I'm not like my roommate who has been in bed with a fever after it all day. Every time she's gotten a shot, she's just felt like just shit. <laughs> so lucky it's not that bad for me. But I may be a little bit subdued today, and it's probably going to be shorter than normal. So let's go. Straight to it. Don't have to like run around or anything, huh? What is that over there? That looks like a. I haven't brought anyone here in over 20 years. There's always been an active display for Aya, but we could never affect it. Let's see what we can do. Sam? Is that Aya, or is that like a star chart? Yes, this is new. Is it similar to the vault on Eos? Tell me, what are you seeing? <laughs> Don't ask me. I'm the rookie here. I mean, I could take a stab at it, but... Tell me, what do you see? The vaults. They're a network, as you discovered. However... They're not connected to each other. But to this place. This image was on a relic the Archon showed me. He called it Meridian. And it looks like Aya's vault is the only one that's fully connected to it. And it's terraforming. Doing what it was meant to do. The vault on Eos is also present, but changed. Our interfacing with it has affected its connection. What do you think, Professor? I think that Meridian is the control center for all the vaults. And if that one over there was Eos, and it was very clearly cut off, like the line just goes right up to it and it's chopped, does that mean Meridian is controlling them to ruin the planets? Like maybe it was meant originally to terraform all these planets, but it, it, it kind of makes me wonder if, yeah, it could be the Ket or some other force, or the Scourge. Probably the Scourge, because the Ket don't have any way to access the vaults to begin with. Maybe the Scourge ruined the programming of Meridian, and it's been just fucking everything up ever since. This discovery might just change everything. If we can get to Meridian, maybe we can turn everything on from there. Make Helios live. Wait, Ryder. The Archon knows where it is. He's already been there. What? Where? Meridian? Of course. That's why he tortured me. He thought I could help him use it. Because he can't. Meridian is my people's best chance for survival. We have to take it from him. Agreed. Such power in the hands of such evil could mean the end of your people. And mine. We'll find his weakness. The Archon is a menace. And I've had it with being lorded over. going to need that relic I saw. The Resistance might have intel on the whereabouts of Archon's ship. I'll talk to Ephra and secure his full cooperation. Meet me there. So we don't have to do the whole big vault thing and the running away from the, the killer smoke. All right. <laughs> that was it. Ah. I mean, it's, it's a big thing, but still, I was <laughs> completely ready to like have to run around and do that whole thing. You know, there were the fast travel stations. Maybe I should have just taken that because I've got to go back around to to there. Can I fast travel from the map? No. 
This should be another fast travel station right in here. Right? No, that was the mural. And just end up running the whole way there, aren't I? Is that one? No, that's the binoculars thing. Here! That's the one I was thinking of. Okay, it's fast travel, but how do I actually affect it? No, see? Is it these things? I do not understand. None of that shows it either. It's not much of a fast travel station if you, it just shows you a map and doesn't let you fast travel. I've got to be just doing it wrong. Oh, I'm just doing it wrong, aren't I? Which way am I even going? Is this the right way? Yeah, it is. We got to go through here. This is the, the lower route, isn't it? Well, we're almost there anyway. I deserve to be told. You had no right to keep it secret from me. It's an ongoing investigation. I meant no disrespect. Did Jal know? Of course not. Neither did the human. Speaking of, I could have kept Sam to myself, you know. This is different. Not your business. It is now. We need to find the Ket command ship. Tell him the truth about my capture. Moshai, please. It may be our only route to the Archon. One of my men helped the Ket take her. A resistance commander named Venterev. Why? There must have been a motive. The Archon wanted her knowledge of Remnant Tech, but why would Ven betray her? I don't know. That's why I kept it quiet. I'm working to capture him, make him answer for what he did. You know where he is? Kadara Port. My contacts are hunting him. Oh, we're going to Kadara. Contacts? You can't trust anyone there. They deserted our cause, our people. And now they're ruled by exiles from your galaxy. Ven may know how to find the Archon, and his ship. We can't leave this to a pack of renegades and outlaws. Uh, could you tell me more about Kadara? I'm a little new to the galaxy. Where did Ven go, exactly? Kadara Port is a trading outpost. We abandoned it when the Ket invaded. Some of us went back. Deserters, scavengers. They don't support Aya. How did exiles from the Nexus wind up there? Bad luck for everyone. They wound up there by bad luck? Alright, I'll go to Kadara. I need the relic that leads to Meridian, and I can handle my people. Let me do this. I don't like it. I don't care. The Pathfinder is right. Oh, thank you. I'll transmit my files on Kadara port to your ship. Our traitor could have useful information. We need him alive. That's up to him. Be safe, Pathfinder. As for you, Ephra, we're not done. Who? <laughs> Also, some of the most expressive facial animation I think I've seen in the game so far has been on Ephra. I, it was all very sour animation, but still. What does that locate the, the what planet on the what? I think that must be something to do with Meridian. I only looked up just in time for it to go away. Okay, well, we're going to head to Kadara. Finally see this place that we've heard so much about for so long. Well, we haven't heard a lot about it, just that it's full of exiles and it's dangerous. But it is a full planet, right? It's not going to be like... Because they keep saying Kadara Port, that almost makes me think it's like a station or something, but I'm pretty sure that it was a planet. Excuse me, excuse me. Don't walk right out in the road. You Don't you have a stop sign? Think of right away. Come on. There we are. 
Okay. Let's go. I'm pretty sure I took care of everything on Aya, but I'm sure we'll be back if not. Director Tan, good news. The Angara opened an embassy for us on Aya. That is a surprise. <laughs> what are their expectations? Don't be yourself. <laughs> Just be respectful. They survived the Scourge and the Ket and rebuilt their civilization. Don't forget it. Appeal to their pride. Sensible. I will gather envoys and send them to Aya. Thank you, Pathfinder. We'll take it from here. Oh, there we go. <laughs> Camera kind of went weird for a moment there. Oh, I hear the monkey. Anybody gonna want to, like, chat with me? Is there any new stuff, new dialogues? I haven't got the message that somebody wants to speak with me. Oh, come on, how we do? We got three of them this time. Debrief. Oh, hey, it's the new, the new boys. This one? Oh, come on, Foxtrot. What are you doing? Oh, you guys were the best. Oh, now you're the worst. Well, we've got 20. So things will build up faster now, which, you know, that's good at least. Scary. Uh, so we got high risk, high reward, scary outlaw. What were the new guys good at? Oh, already level four, huh? Scary. Oh, let's send them on the scary mission. All right, X-ray. How much is it? 89, 91. See, I think 78%. Not bad. Get at it. I got faith in you. And then the others, Foxtrot was hostage and uniform was bribery. Do we have a hostage? Well, there's bribery here. It's a hostage on that one. Are there hostages on the other? I don't think I missed it. All right. Sixty-one percent on both, huh? That's the bribery, so it should be the other guys. Well, what about this one with the hostage? Oh, seventy percent. Okay, that one's definitely for them. Do it. And then bribery here. Yeah, we'll send them on the bribery mission. 61 though, that's really low. Might actually send them for one of these. 89% is much better. Does it say how much we actually get? Five funds versus five. Oh, well, come on, why even bother with that? Yeah, let's just send them on that one. It's a better chance. I never see exactly what I get out of these. It just says that they're open. Okay, common research data. I guess it's because I just hit claim all. Viper. Taking up more space in my inventory. Oh, lithium. Give me them space rocks. And some credits. Probably have some junk I can sell off, right? No, I guess not. Although, okay, 115 of 150, I got plenty of space still. And I do want to make that armor. You know, I think I'm going to take a moment, and hopefully I've got enough uranium now I can make it. So let's find out. I've made the Maverick set, and I have I don't have it on yet. I just created it. But when we pass by the loadout area, I'll put it on, and we'll see how it, um, how it compares to what I've got on right now, which I've been using since the start of the game. I've literally never changed out this armor because I've just really liked that weight reduction so much. Two crowd pod points available. Uh, what might I want to get? A lot of it doesn't really matter for a lot of the stuff I even... Why, like, there's nothing really I want. Research points, maybe. I don't know. Data, whatever's... What are these ones that I can't get to yet. 
Oh, viability of 90% required on Havaral. Oh, okay, it's at 100%. For a second, I thought that it was, wasn't up to that level, but I still need improved development. Increase augmentation slots on all research projects. Oh, that would be good. All right. Further increased research data from all sources requires improved development. You know, let's let's do that then. Yeah, improved development. And we'll get that one as well. And then next time we can get innovation and get those augmentation slots. What's this one? Additional common mining nodes. Eh. Eh. I'm gonna run around to see if anyone like calls out and wants to talk to me. But hey, Drac, devil's advocate, okay? Go for it. With the cat entrenched here and things as they are, maybe we should focus our efforts on leaving this cluster. You mean quit? Right <laughs> I don't think that's what you should say well, to Drac. We came to find a new home, not a new enemy, right? We knew this was a possible scenario, and we took the jump anyway. What she said. That's not the kind of talk you give to a Krogan. Come on, Gil, what are you thinking? Doesn't seem like anyone's got any new like conversation, though. Aren't these doors closed? That's Come on, I need a way out of this. Not sure how I can help. Okay, what's going on? I think I gotta come at it just right there. Something I should know about? Hey, I was just how you doing? I'm great, just uh <laughs> very convincing. I told you I screwed up and I have. What have you done? Remember Rand? I contacted Yangara. She's gone. The whole group is gone. Sudden. So, yeah. Up for a rescue? Because if we don't, we could be next. Yeah, how is this your fault? What have you done? You seem pretty sure this is your fault, but I'm not hearing why. Yeah. Um, because I gave Varand Nexus data and nerve points. Why would you do that? We need to know how to live here. I tried asking. I tried taking. No one would help outsiders. So I took initiative, gave her data and text so she could mod it. Varand was, she is a good risk. But if pirates interrogate her or barter her to the Ket, it's our heads. Why not alert the Nexus? Why didn't you alert everyone immediately? If they have her info, they have our comms. The Nexus goes on alert, they'll know. Varand's people are tough. They'd have fought if they thought there was a chance. Something made them think there wasn't. I won't risk that. Bad enough I have to involve you. Like I said, I screwed up. Uh, Liam. You shouldn't be going all like, you know, off on wild things, just doing whatever you whatever you think and not like breaking every rule. Then you get stuff like this happening. Come on. I mean, sure, bureaucracy sucks, but also <laughs> if you're breaking all the rules, the, the rules are sometimes there for a reason. Alright, we'll fix it. We'll take care of it before it's a problem. It's already a problem. I got a lead from a trader, a grainy visual. We find that system, we find our bad guys. I also asked Bradley for people to help intercept. I thought they might want to pitch in. How are a bunch of settlers supposed to help? That's what he said. We're on our own. I'll forward the visual to the bridge for when you want to start hunting. And, sorry. <laughs> and he runs off. Bradley, wasn't that... Uh, August Bradley, was that the guy in charge at Prodromos? I mean, they're settlers, so it makes sense. There will be. But maybe not right now. I get you, pal. You name chatter about nothing coming up. You know, one thing I do like is that you don't have to talk to them, like, actually enter conversation every time. Because if there's new stuff, they'll often just, like, you'll be notified on the bridge for one thing. This person wants to talk to you. But otherwise, you can just walk by and get stuff like this. Is anybody? No, nobody's posting. Let's 
Let's get one of Sam's jokes before we go. Oh, and I might have emails. I haven't I'm checked. Writer. Give me a joke, Sam. How are those jokes coming, Sam? My algorithm has reached the end of its iteration. Do you believe my sense of humor has improved? Uh, gotta be honest here. Uh, not really. Understood. Incidentally, the shape of your face when I tell jokes is mathematically comical. <laughs> it's the funniest thing we've said, Sam. Thanks, Sam. Nothing more. So we've got, can we talk on camera? Carrie Tvesa, that was the um, person on the Nexus, right? The uh, journalist, I guess? Hello, Ryder. The things I'm hearing, a garden world, a whole new species? If you can talk on the record, you know where to find me. Sure, next time we end up on the Nexus. To Ryder from Tan. Ryder, I've been reviewing all the messages you forwarded from the Angaran populace. It's encouraging to see that even in these initial phases of contact, we have supporters among them. Though it's equally clear we have our work cut out for us in winning over the rest, but I'm confident you're on the right track. I would have been surprised if the Angara hadn't expressed skepticism. First contact is a complicated situation, and if roles were reversed, I'd be su suspicious of them if they arrived on our doorstep. Thank you for passing these messages along. They'll provide invaluable insight as we navigate these tricky waters, Director Tan. See, honesty was the best policy. You were right. From Mildred Wamsus? Who was that? You probably won't remember me. Yep. But I stopped you on the Nexus and bent your ear about the Angara on our station. Oh, yeah, okay, I remember that. You told me to get to know them, and I've done my best to. They seem thoughtful and worthy of our trust. So, yeah, you should keep doing what you're doing. Good luck out there. Good. See, just, you know, don't be afraid to talk to people from different cultures. Come on. Communication from Jal. <laughs> is that how he addresses it? His subject line is, like, <laughs> communication from Jal. Writer. The Moshai sent some news from Aya that she asked me to share with you. Under her guidance, officials are again allowing study in the Aya vault. It comes with great risk, of course, so she's restricting participation to her brightest students under armed guard. Although she doesn't have your ability to interface with the Remnant, she wants to be ready to assist you however she can once Meridian is found. These are interesting and exciting times. Isn't that like an ancient curse, too? I hope you live in exciting times. <laughs> I want to live in boring times. Liam's movie night to Ryder from Suvi. Dear Ryder, I heard what Liam's planning. It sounds like a great idea, even if things are unsettled at the moment. I'd love to help out. Stop by when you can. Oh, you got it, pal. Let's go see Suvi. Uh, oh, I did see her over the top of that chair. I was like, is she off somewhere else? Liam says he's planning a movie night. That's the idea. He's putting it off because it didn't seem right after seeing the exaltation facility. But now there's a delay. I had a thought. Every vid's better with snacks, right? I found an Angaran recipe for these little morsels you can make from a local Helios plant, but it's rare. I'll and say no more. You want me to look for one? Oh, would you? I'd love to, you know, be social and things. Where? Oh, it's on Aya. Okay. So we'll have to actually go back to Aya to get that. Go to Kadara. And then we've also got, um, okay, so that's the Kadara one. That's not what I'm looking for. Tempest? I've still got something there. Movie night snacks. Okay, so it's considered a Tempest quest, of course, because it came from Suvi. Let's find a plant on Aya for Suvi. There are many plants there. What else did I still have hanging around? Oh yeah, the firefighter is waiting for an email. Still got to gather intel. And didn't I have something else? Oh yeah, there's lots of stuff in there. No, it's the one that the wanted me to do just now to help him with whatever but uh, I think I think I'm gonna end here for tonight I'm still feeling kind of tired and I don't want to like get into a big thing like <laughs> I was thinking that the eye of all would be the big thing but it turned out to just be a short thing 
So yeah, I don't want to get into a big thing while I'm still feeling kind of like drained. So we'll pick this up for Wednesday and we'll get her plant and we'll go to Kadara and I'm really curious what Kadara is going to be like. So until then, thank you for joining me and I'll see you guys Wednesday. Good night.